pernah nggak kepikiran gimana caranya biar kalian bisa hidup cuman dengan jadi konten kreator? Nah, di video ini ada satu konten kreator dunia yang bakal menceritakan gimana perjalanan dia dari awal sampai akhirnya besar. I want to make this interactive, so we'll stop. You have a burning question to stop me, interrupt. Okay, but before I get going on me, I want to tell you about a friend. A friend of mine named Lewis. Okay. Lewis was a guy who worked for a Fortune 6 company in the United States, in North Carolina. And he had a great job. He made good money, he was in tech. He was on like the 12th floor, nice window view, two 4K monitors, standing desk. He drove a black BMW with leather interior, and he enjoyed his life. He had a nice apartment, had nice things in the apartment, but yet something was missing inside. He wanted more. And on his vacation, he went to the Dominican Republic and he met someone and he found a, a, an amazing opportunity. This person said, go here. And that person said, go there. And he came back and he was like, wow, all these stories I, I have. Wow, I want to do more of that. So he created a plan to quit his job. He saved up money and he quit his job and he wanted to travel the world. Well, that story should resonate with uh, hopefully a few of you guys but it resonated with me because this guy named lewis was actually <laughs> it was it was basically me so my na name is mitch lewis summers so that was me <laughs> that was me <laughs> uh, it's more interesting right when it's not you at first um so yes i took a leap five years ago i quit my job it was a really good job the best paying job with the most perks the the nice <laughs> Freaking nice office, man. It was sweet, it was sweet. And I quit my job five years ago and booked a one-way flight to the Philippines. And I didn't know what my plan was. I didn't know how to make videos. I don't recommend that. But, uh, but uh, learn how to make videos before you quit your job to make videos. You've done that, right? Because you've already quit your job. Who here, yeah, I was asking, if anyone else has joined in, who here has, is planning, they have like an end date. They're already ready to quit their job, it's like on, on the books. Yeah? That's so, we're gonna talk. Are you stupid or are you smart? You'll know by the end of this talk. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's awesome. So I, I've had some success since then, but we'll tell about that timeline because I think it varies for everyone. And I hope by the end of this talk, you guys will learn. Like timelines are different. Some people will, will make it, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk about what it looks like. And then based on your risk tolerance, mine is very high, uh, it, you can determine like which path you wanna go down. Cause there's not a right way. I feel like to, at, at the, this point in the talks that we've heard, you've heard the Casey view, you've heard the Nassire view, and you've seen some very stark differences and there's not one way to like succeed. So yeah. All right, so yes, I quit my job and now I have like over a million people. So there's, there's some socials that follow me. It's, it's not about the numbers, but this is, these numbers e equate to views. And we're gonna talk a little bit about money and how I got there and maybe some things that you can implement too. There's been some great talks already that have told you about how to make viral content and stuff. I will tell you what has worked for me and you guys can stop me and ask questions. Okay, so I've had a half a billion views. So it's awesome. It's great and I've made some good money, but now let's kind of talk about you guys, okay? Because this is not just about me. Click, 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 click. Okay, so this I think is the most important part about this talk is about the leap. We've talked about the leap a little bit already. And for me, there's like two ways. Any of you guys watch Tony Robbins or seen, heard of him? Come on, he's the like giant that stands on. And he's like, even with Zoom meetings, he's like doing them intensely. Yeah. So um, I, have you seen the talk Burning the Boats? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So if you're going to take an island, you got to burn the boats so there's no retreat. Because you're going to fail if you go in there and leave your boats like docked. That Their only way to succeed is to burn the boats. So that's, that's one way. That's one way. That's the quit your job before you know how to make videos kind of way. Is that stupid or smart? We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so that's the burn the boats. That's the high risk tolerance way. Then you've got the keep the boats way. Um, the keep the boats way is to do what we, we heard about the, in the earlier talk where you start making videos 
on the weekends, at night. You, you grind the midnight oil, you do all that, and then you see if there's some success. It's, it's you know, you, you go that route. And then if you get success, then you can kind of step out of your career. There's no right answer. I sort of did this hybrid. My way, I saved $40,000. I came up with this arbitrary number. It was basically the most amount I could save. That was my net worth. I saved $40,000. And I was like, I can survive for two years without making a penny. And worst case, this is a two year sabbatical. I have, I have eight years experience in tech and I can go back to tech, get a job. Like I worked in startups and at a fortune six company, they're gonna hire me again. So that gave me some confidence to take a crazy leap of faith and to do that. And so I guess the question is, is where's your risk tolerance in this? You, that's individual and we can you know fire away and ask I've talked to a lot of content creators worked with a lot of them and They've all done it differently. That was just my path save forty thousand dollars quit my job book a one-way flight I did it a little bit backwards because I didn't know how to make videos before I quit my job to go make videos I saved the money, but I didn't do that anyways, okay, so There we go. Okay, I hope you guys like charts. I like charts, I'm a visual person. So, okay, this is gonna make sense and you're gonna love this. Okay, so I want you to erase the blue one for now and just look at this point, this uh, orange-ish line. Okay, so the you're currently working, hopefully. We've got one, <laughs> you're not working, but everyone is probably working in this room and you make, a, you make an income, okay? To me, to call yourself a full-time content creator, you need to make it that much or more to be considered a full-time content creator. I mean, yes, you can be full-time and make you know, you know, ten dollars a week, but that's not going to put food in your stomach and pay the bills. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that. Okay, this is my timeline. It took me three years to get to my FT point. The FT point is what I made. I made like seventy k in Raleigh, North Carolina, back back in twenty seventeen. So I wanted to get to here. It took me three years to get to there. The first two years sucked. And if I didn't have that $40,000, I sure as hell wouldn't have made it. So that's the only way. And this is the problem when content creators want to step out and they want to take that leap. It's hard. It's hard because money doesn't come. So my goal is to help you accelerate this by, by implementing some of these strategies that I've talked about and we can have a chat. Basically, I wanna make you look like a parabolic stock chart. Not this one, this one sucks until about, <laughs> until about right here. Because once you, get to, once you get to your FT point, I feel like the content creators I've talked to, they all go parabolic. That's when like, I went from making my income to then getting a Snapchat show and my life changing. Like very, it happens very fast. We, talk, we, we heard about this earlier today where YouTubers make a thousand videos and then all of a sudden they, <laughs> they blow up and start making you know a couple hundred K a month. So, all right, let's accelerate this. My clicker does not work well. Okay. Okay. So this has been talked about a billion times, but I'll talk about it a little bit in my context and then I'm gonna tell you how you actually probably, if you haven't quit your job, will make your first dollar. And I'll tell you my first dollar story. This is a little different. Okay, so obviously, you know, we can make money from ad revenue and, and there's other ways to make money, guys. I'm just breaking it very, you know, very simply. So ad revenue, brand deals slash sponsorships and freelance work. Okay, uh, you learn a skill to make videos. You do NAS Academy, you, you, you go on YouTube and just learn how to make videos. So you instantly have this skill of content creation. You know, I thought the money was gonna come in like this. I would make money from, you know, going viral. I, I didn't go viral. <laughs> I didn't go viral in the beginning. And I certainly didn't get brand deals, but I had this new skill of freelance. And so I actually made my first dollar in Mauritius. So I left the Philippines 
I went to Mauritius. It's a, it a beautiful island off the coast of Madagascar. Great spot. And I was knocking on hotel room doors and like, hey, you guys, I, I basically looked at their websites and realized they sucked. They had bad photos. So I said, hey, I have a camera, I have a drone. I'm, let me take some photos. Can I stay in your place? A few nights, exchange. So I was just hustling. And the guy said yes. He saw the photos, he liked the photos. Didn't make any money, but I had a place to stay. <laughs> I was, I was uh, trying not to spend my $40,000 all in one place. And then he liked the work, so he said, hey, I have another sister hotel. They have a catamaran. This catamaran, like we wanna make a video about it. And that's how I made my first 500 bucks. I didn't, I didn't go viral, I had this skill. So in reality, I think that your first amount of money will come from you learning this new skill that is now marketable. And how you market it, maybe knocking on doors and hotels and Mauritius isn't the best way, <laughs> um, but you, know, you can get creative. 